What's up everybody? OGP back with you for a different kind of video, something that you haven't really got on this channel before, but I thought I would share with you. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, I'm over here chilling with my amigo from another world here. And the reason for that is I'm about to show you guys a slideshow with a couple little video clips of a recent trip. Well, recent as in like right before COVID hit. Uh, but a trip uh, that I took with the family to Roswell, New Mexico, as in where the aliens crashed back in the 1940s. And everybody knows about the town of Roswell. They've made TV shows and movies and stuff about it. It was a really cool place, really cool uh, town and all kinds of stores and a museum, different things to see in Roswell, New Mexico that are all alien related. So I hope you guys enjoy this slideshow and sorry there's not more video. I just, some of these places I had a hard time taking video so it was more just pictures. But enjoy the slideshow. Give it a thumbs up if you would. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you've never been to Roswell, it's definitely a place I recommend going. It's a lot of fun even if you don't believe in my guy right over here even if you don't buy it still a fun place to check out so here goes the slideshow to roswell new mexico with ogp and family
Here in New Mexico in July 1947, at least one unidentified flying object apparently crashed, setting off an official policy of secrecy which continues today. The crash occurred near Corona, 75 miles northwest of Roswell. Here on a ranch, a large quantity of unusual debris was discovered by William Mac Brazel, whose son described the material. Wood, I call it wood, I don't know what it was. It was something like balsa wood, but uh, it wouldn't burn, and I couldn't cut it with my knife. Mac Brazel took a piece of the debris to his closest neighbor, Loretta Proctor. Be secret, kind of a can. 